Recording this video, I realized I could have an entire shelf full of Godzilla figures that are painted to reference older Godzilla figures from other companies, and I might have to rearrange my collection now. Today, we're looking at these Sun Guts figures and making some Tequila Sun Guts shots. I mean, come on, these drinks and their names can't all be winners. I mean, to make these shots, you'll need tequila, banana liqueur, cream of coconut, grenadine, and a bunch of food coloring. For the Baragon, take a half ounce of a banana liqueur, a half ounce of tequila, a few drops of grenadine, a drop of red food coloring, a couple of drops of yellow food coloring, and a quarter ounce of cream of coconut. Shake it all up, pour it into a shot glass, and set it aside for a sec. For the Godzilla, take three quarters of an ounce of banana liqueur, a full ounce of tequila, a drop each of blue and green food coloring, a quarter ounce of cream of coconut, and shake it all up. Pour it into a shot glass, down it, and chase it with the orange one. Cheers. Okay, so this Sun Guts GMK set has been on my bucket list for quite some time, so thank you to Kaiju Legion for helping me check this one off my list. The Sun Guts GMK sets were released in pairs, Mothra and Ghidorah in one bag, with Godzilla and Baragon in the other. There's something about this specific GMK Godzilla mold, cast in green vinyl, that really works for me. The figure stands at just under five and a half inches tall and features gold spray on the dorsal plates, silver claws and teeth, and the signature white eyes. I'm assuming the color scheme is a reference to the Marusan Godzillas of yesteryear, since the color scheme on the Baragon definitely is. Cast in this vivid orange vinyl, it has a silver spray on the claws and horn, and that metallic greenish teal on the back and belly, just like the original Marusan Baragons. This little cutie is about as long as the Godzilla is tall. The Baragon is cast in two pieces, so because of that, it has this joint right in the middle. The Godzilla's articulation is a little more intentional, with rotation in both arms, both legs, and the tail, to a certain extent, it's one of those oval joints. Sun Guts did a great job of translating the viciousness and maybe a little cockiness of the GMK suit into their almost cartoony style, and I'm here for it. While they have re-released the Godzilla on its own a few times over the years, I believe the Baragon has only been in the two packs, so I'd say that might be the rarer of the two. Whether you're on the hunt for one, both, or the whole set, or none of the above, good luck! Thanks for watching, and remember to always drink responsibly.